Now at 5.30, indecent exposure. This man accused of exposing himself to a young brother and sister inside a local McDonald's. And the children's mother uh, certainly wasn't going to let him get away with it. As Jim Smith shows us tonight, she followed that man and then snapped the picture, which helped police to track him down. I just did what I had to do. Like any mom, Jamie Prendeville's top priority is protecting her kids. Yesterday, she was having lunch at this Auburn McDonald's with her 9-year-old son and 15-year-old daughter when she noticed a man sitting across from them. kind of was just, I guess, looking at my children weird and, and I. She briefly went outside to take a cell phone call, and by the time she came back... The kids were kind of like real red-faced and flushed and were acting a little nervous. Um, my son and both my daughter pulled me over and whispered that something had happened. The kids told Jamie that 57-year-old Stephen Sullivan had exposed himself to them. She decided to follow Sullivan outside and snapped this picture of him. Did you want to yell at him? Were you mad? I huh? wanted to scream. I did. I wanted to scream. Um, I actually said to him, I'm taking this picture straight to the police station for exactly what you did to my kids. And he looked at me and just snickered. She went to Auburn Police Headquarters. Police immediately recognized Sullivan, who has a previous lewdness conviction, arresting him a short time later. We're thankful, obviously, that she, she got the, the photo for us, because that led to a real quick resolution of the case. But by the same token, we don't, we don't want people confronting suspects, because you don't know what their mindset is. You don't know if they're armed. You know, leave that to us. But in this case, it worked out well. As for Jamie? Well, I'm hoping that a predator like that is definitely off the streets so that it doesn't happen to anyone else. Sullivan was ordered held on $10,000 cash bail. He's also ordered to stay away from the alleged victims. In Auburn, Jim Smith, WBZ News. Developing